we looked at their capability and we shortlisted to six firms and then all those firms had to do a, a, an exhaustive submission and they were all interviewed. Uh, we had a panel, uh, that was a fabulous panel and that was really good at helping us to decide. Uh, that panel included of course the director, uh, it included our chairman of trustees, Sir Guy Green. It also included Peter Mould, who's the New South Wales State Architect, and Ian Athfield, who is the head of Athfield Architects in New Zealand and was the immediate past president of the New Zealand Institute of Architects. We also had Peter Poulet, who is our State Architect of Tasmania. And they worked very hard. It was not an easy decision. Uh, but in the end, uh, picked FJMT, Francis Jones, Moorhen and Thorpe, and we were really excited from their history of working with cultural uh, projects. Uh, they're currently working on the Auckland Art Gallery, that's underway, and you can actually see that on their website. <laughs> uh, the Mint uh, is now about 10 years old, but that uh, was for the Historic Houses Trust um, based in Sydney, and that was a really exciting project and uh, a lot of things akin to us with the heritage buildings, and they really managed to marry the contemporary and the heritage buildings. Is that rare to get a firm that's so good at that? Yes, it is uh, a unique set of skills and it is not something that is uh, common uh, here or overseas because of the nature of our buildings, the nature of our materials and the fact that there, there just really aren't that many museum and art galleries um, around the world. And We wanted someone who'd worked both with art galleries and with museums. We, we just have a unique mix and, uh, and we think we've found a firm that can do that.